Hey everyone, Felipe here. Welcome to another Tower of Saviors card review video. In this video, I'll be taking a look at the new Challenge Stage card, Harvest Moon Reunion Fate Trio. This is going to be a Water God card with a CD7 skill and the following effect. For one round, Water, Fire, and Earth also possess the effect of each other. By dissolving all Water runes in the first batch, you can freeze enemies to inactivate them and change their attribute into Water. By dissolving all Fire runes, you launch extra three extra attacks one water, one fire, and one earth. And by dissolving all earth runes in the first batch, you can fully recover your HP. In my opinion, this skill is going to be pretty useful. CD7, a little bit slow. The first effect of runestone possession is nice, but not really the core of this skill. Mainly because a lot of the leaders nowadays already have runestone possession effect, which means that you might not need this additional runestone possession effect in order to get more attacking runes. However, the second, third, and fourth skill are going to be basically the main reason why you're using this card. And I, in my opinion, it might be the first or the second effect that takes more precedence and more priority in terms of team building. That is because a lot of enemies in the recent stages have had controlling shields or free shields. So being able to freeze your enemies at CD7 is going to be pretty useful in order to be able to launch the full damage potential of your teams without having to bypass those 10% uh, damage reduction or 90% uh, damage reduction if they're not frozen, etc. So being able to freeze your enemies is going to be pretty useful. And that being said, this card will do that for you. Also changing enemies attributes is also pretty useful whenever you have enemies that have combo nullifying shield with puzzle shields or um, trio elemental shields, quint elemental shields, etc. So being able to change their attributes, that's going to be really useful. Um, if they have like puzzle shields EX of their own attribute, but also combo nullifying, then you can change their attributes and don't worry about it and break the puzzle shield without an issue. Also, enemies that only take damage from their weakness um, definitely also helps in here if you change their attributes as well. By dissolving all fire runes in the first batch, you get three extra attacks. Quite nice, but this card doesn't have any self-attack increase. So it is just going to be a small chunk of damage, which is nice, but it isn't going to be anything too crazy. Uh, the nice thing is that it will be damage of three different attributes. So if you encounter enemies that have to take five different attribute attacks, you already have three here and you only have, uh, need to find a way to deal light and dark damage to break those shields. However, like I said before, the amount of damage that you gain from this third effect is not going to be that useful. It mainly will be the fact that you launch three attacks of different attributes. For the third effect, dissolving all earth in the first batch, fully recover HP. Pretty nice, but also very situational because it only it only applies whenever you need to recover HP after poisoning or if your enemy brings your HP down to one and you are going to die uh, the next round, maybe because a recovery debuff or a thorny trail. If your HP is one and there's thorny trail, you will die whenever you move. So if you fully recover your HP, you are still able to move through the thorny trail without dying uh, in the first move. So yeah, in my opinion, second and third effect, um, I mean, fire and earth effect are going to be pretty useful, but pretty situational. While the first effect by dissolving all water runes is going to be the main core of why I would put this card in my team. That being said, there are, are already many water cards that can freeze the enemies. So if you already have a lot of frozen or freeze um, utility cards, then I don't see that much use for this card. Um, it is nice to get because it will be pretty easy to farm. But honestly, if you already have a lot of freezing cards, I wouldn't farm it to like dual max. Maybe just have it in your inventory at level one just for the index and for the potential of using her in like the 20 team challenges or 30 team challenges, etc. However, that being said, if you are new to the game and you don't have any controlling skills like freezing, ignite, uh, paralysis, etc. This could be a pretty good addition to your teams because it will allow you to inflict status on your opponents and also freeze them to bypass those frozen shields, etc, etc. But yeah, in my opinion, this card is going to be pretty good, but there are already many other options in the game that can replace her in terms of team building. 
Bam, that's all I wanted to say about this card. Please let me know in the comments if I said anything wrong or if I missed anything. And as always, make sure to stay tuned on my YouTube channel for more Tower of Saviors content. For now, stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you next time. Bye everyone!